Good morning traders and this is your day trade review for the Dow Jones. So the daily yesterday was pretty much a, an indecision bar and currently we've had a pretty strong move up and uh, only reason is because uh, uh, Trump is at it again because now all of a sudden we have a, a trade deal that's close. Right? Yesterday we didn't have a trade deal that was close and there was tariffs coming. Uh, yeah, so anyway, the market's soon going to wake up and realize that this guy is just manipulating the market for his own gains. Anyway, that's my my opinion, so don't lambaste me for it, but uh, it's damn difficult to trade something when you can see it's been manipulated and they're trying to, they're trying to turn it into some sort of a, a ranging market which is driven by, by Twitter, which uh, anyway, uh, hopefully sometime investors wake up and start ignoring the noise. Right. So, rant over. Um, we still do have buyers stepping in. So, there's obviously a lot of people that are thinking like I'm thinking at the moment. Um, and the opportunity for the, uh, to buy is on any dip. And it's regardless of how, how deep the dip is or how shallow the dip is, it's a buying opportunity. So, if we start moving down through the time frames, yesterday was very much a sideways day. And we'll get that now. But you can see all this indecision here. Tails the top, tails the bottom. And then news that came out now off the market open. That's what drove it up. I have a feeling we'll have a pretty deep uh, pullback. Probably come test these levels here. Or oh, even back to the gap that's been created. And then we'll take it from there. Okay, so at the moment it's looking like a wedge, but it could also just be a channel. Okay, so I'll treat it as a channel for now being the Dow Jones. Right, so looking at what happened yesterday. There was really not any opportunity to be trading yesterday. I mean, as soon as you start seeing these tails like this, that's when I switched off and just left it alone. Because that to me is barbed wire. It just indicates indecision and it's not something that you want to be, be trading. So towards the close, if you were still watching the market, you would have probably seen a level, which would be a Fibonacci level. You can see 61.8 and look at that. Buy a step right in off that and then more than likely drove it up. Not quite yet. Okay. Now the measured move is up there. But anyway, so if you were still awake and trading this, you can see how the importance of a 61 point myself, uh, I'd already given up on it. Okay. So what do we have at the moment? So right now we've had this pretty big engulfing bar. We've got inside bar. Then we've got a, another bar which hits the trend line. And now the sellers are stepping in. But I do expect it to come back down. Now, the question on my mind is, are we just going to come back into um, sort of this area of resistance here and come and test it? And the second thing that I just want to double check is, what was that area of resistance? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And you can see the current weekly is not, uh, not too shabby anyway. Uh, maybe one hour. Okay, so I'm expecting some kind of a pullback and that's just going to give me the opportunity to buy. I think that's the bottom line here. I'm not really interested in taking it from where it is. Yeah, we've got a gap down here. So there's our gap which is kind of back in this area of congestion. And if you look at the half hour picture here, that is looking like a double top. Okay. We don't have diversions, but we do have a double top here, higher high. This to me is a double top. So anyway, we move below that level there of 27862. I would expect a short pretty much down to this level here. Okay. I'm not interested in taking that short, just by the way. Okay, I know it's 61 points, but I'm definitely not interested in taking it because the probability of an ambusher coming in and taking you out to drive the market up is very strong. Okay, so for me, it's a wait for the dip, buy the dip. And uh, that's a strategy that I will maintain on this instrument for the foreseeable future. Okay, so, and again, price action on the half hour here, you know, right off the 61.8 inside bar, pin bar, 
and golfing bar. There was a signal there to buy. Anyway, ignore that for now. That was at the close. And uh, you're a brave man if you're taking a, a position to hold over overnight with uh, Donald Trump at the helm. So, looking at the 12 minutes, we do have, we are above the, the alligator at the moment. So we need to watch this, firstly watch this level. 27.862, if we do get through that, then you're looking for an entry anywhere between 27.798 or 5 and 27.8010. So let's say around 27,800 is what you're looking for, a long entry. Okay. Um, if we just get to the Chimuku, let's give it a noise. Our trend is up. Very much the upside. I'll measure how big this pinball was. 78 point pinball. I mean, that's just crazy. Anyway. Uh, and then we probably had the same here after hours as they manipulated. So for me at the moment, this is bullish. If we look at the 30 minutes, you probably find it's bullish. If it's bullish, we broke through the cloud, test the cloud, accelerate it away. So I'm waiting for a pullback. One hour, uh, Keaton's and Tegenson kind of confused. I really expect it to pull back. I do want to see a deeper pullback, and I think that's going to happen. Four hour, very, very bullish. But just look at this in these indecision bars here. And then all of a sudden, after hours, we rally. But during hours, we have got no clue what we're doing after hours. They, they manipulate the mark and they drive it up. But anyway, everything here is bullish. There's no reason to be looking for shorts. You should be buying the dips. Okay. And uh, same picture for the daily right now. Absolutely no reason to be short. You should only be looking at longs. Okay. So that's kind of my view at the moment. Um, and the previous high of yesterday is definitely one of the areas that you can look at. So that's the high of yesterday. Although I would prefer to see a deeper pullback than that. But that may hold. It is possible that that does hold. So you're just going to have to keep your wits about you really and pay attention to what's going on around you. And my view at the moment is even if it does come to this area, it's a small position, and I'm going to make sure that I can take a decent stop of 200 points. So I can probably do that with a very small position, um, or possibly just 100 points here. So that's kind of my view at the moment. Uh, look for the entry, and then look for the previous fractals on the 12-minute for your stop area. And this is the, the previous fractal, which is the stop area. Now the fact that we have rallied almost 100 points, 90 points in off-dials trade during the Asian session. Um, yeah, I think the, the age of AI, artificial intelligence and uh, bot computer trading is upon us. And that's all this is. This is just algorithms that are trading um, Twitter. They're just watching for Donald's tweet and they are trading. Okay. Anyway, guys, so my bias is to the upside. Um, you're going to have to look at levels. So this is the first level here, which is 27,856. Then your next level is going to be down the bottom here, uh, around 27,800, give or take, let's say give or take 50 points, because it could come all the way down and then buy a step in. Okay, not something to look at for the moment, uh, apart from a short, but I'm not looking at a short, definitely not shorting this market. So looking for an opportunity to buy, and then we should get a, it looks like we're probably going to get a decent trade. Um, maybe we're expecting some more news coming out uh, around uh, the trade war. Okay, so at the moment, uh, China is flat or up ever so slightly up 0.37, and crude oil is also up half a percent. So that would also be driving the market right now. But all the US futures are up 0.3 percent right now. Okay. So, anyway guys, yeah, that's it for me today, hope it helps, and uh, buy the dips, so wait for it to pull back, it would be nice to see a gap close, that would be a really good entry for a long, because then you can have a stop below the swing low here, which is the low of yesterday, which would be pretty interesting, okay, anyway guys, hope it helps, and I'll catch you guys later, cheers for now.